up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Kim to turn on you do two shit. Hey man, say man, we are lit, eh? Lead to my teeth, man. Turn, 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 turn. Today, to my fucking day, straight hood and outside. Big crib shit, man. Hey man, say me. I'll trip for the one time, one time in the hood. In the north side, man. Big crib out here, man. Hey man, say man. You about to have a litty video, man. Um, it's been a long time coming, man. But this video is finally coming out after five years, man. Um, all right, boom. Let's get to this video, man. So, um, if you did not know, XXX Tentacion, man. It's sad. It's a sad story about that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was an up and coming rapper, like a SoundCloud rapper type shit. You feel me? And um. He wasn't like the type, he didn't get his type of credit that he deserved, you know what I'm saying? He had got locked up in, in the pokey, and he was locked up for a minute, you know what I'm saying? And one of these artists, big name artists, everybody know who it was, stole his fucking song, man. They stole his song, and he was still in jail. Now, the artist who stole his song, Everybody was like, damn, this is a lit ass song. Like, what the fuck? Like, how you get all these lit ass songs? Like, I remember when, this, I remember when he put the when he put that song out. The, the artist stole the song, stole X song. I remember when he put that song out. Everybody was like, damn, this is a lit ass song. This song, okay, Drake. Okay, we see you. Turn it up in this bit. Turn it up, turn it up. So, um, so, um, but then X got out of jail. And X was like, hey, he stole my song. And everybody was like, what? They're like, he stole my song, look! I got the song right here! So everybody like, damn, this nigga stole this nigga's song while he was in jail! Wow, what the fuck? Everybody was like crazy, like going crazy. But people were saying that it really wasn't the artist who stole the song, it was his ghostwriter. But whoever stole the song, y'all some dummies, man, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, um, so he... So he stole, he stole, um, he stole X whole song, made into his song. X came out, and he released this song. This nigga blew the fuck up. This nigga but became instantly a star. Instant star. As soon as he got out of the pokey, he went on, he went on this interview talking, yeah, man, this whoop, 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 stole my song. You know what I'm saying? And, um, everybody was like, Damn! So he, he blew up. Everybody was talking to him. A Ak was talking to him. Everybody was trying to talk to him. Interviews. Talk to him on the phone. Ask him, dang, so how do you feel after knowing that your whole song that you made was stolen? And I, I was like, man, fuck that. I'm pissed as hell, man. My hard work, man. These bitch ass niggas stealing my shit. Nigga, I could have been in jail, nigga. I, I mean, I could have died in jail. These bitch ass niggas would have kept on going with my song. Which I could feel, I, I could feel, um, X on some of that shit too because motherfuckers done stole my shit. How I, the stuff I post, some how, how I act and shit. People be stealing my shit. And you know when I went to jail, you know what I'm saying? They, I could have died in jail. Nigga, keep on going, taking my shit, going with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? Nigga could have died. All type of shit. But niggas steady stealing nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? But especially, but I'm saying okay, I'm saying stealing my shit because. My shit is that I'm like, oh, I barely even have any subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Like, compared to the niggas who do got the subscribers. So that's stealing shit. You know what I'm saying? If another person got a lot of subscribers and you cop, like, looking at their shit, that's not stealing because they, everybody sees shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? They just look at my shit. They stealing my shit. All types of shit. But, you know what I'm saying? That's how it goes, type shit. But X, you know what I'm saying? X came out. He said, man, they stealing my shit. Blew up. And, um, so he was mad. He was mad. He was mad for a long time. You know, X was like a troll, kind of. He was like, he was kind of like a troll too. So you know, he was getting mad at everybody. He was getting beat for everybody. So um, you know, he got beat up on the stage. He got into a bunch of fights. He got jumped. You know what I'm saying? By random ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying? X, like I said, X talk a lot of shit. You know, random niggas just try to try to test that nigga. And um, so X, you know what I'm saying? 
X doing his thing, you feel me? Um, he was, man, he said, he, he said to the artist who stole his song, man, he said, man, he said, he said, he said, he said, he was talking about his mother, talking about he'll, he'll kill his mother or fuck his mother or some shit, he said, fuck your mother or something. And the artist who did it, man, it, it, X, X could have, X could have ruined, X could have ruined the artist who stole his, his song career, man, the way it was going, he could have ruined that nigga career, man. But um, but X died. You feel me? Before anything could really just go crazy, crazy after that. Because you know what I'm saying. If he wouldn't ever die, he would have ruined the other person's career off the bat. Because how he was going, ain't no way he would, ain't no way um that the person who stole his career could have came back from that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, X was in the in the um in Florida, where he's from, his hometown. He was buying some jewelry and shit. I don't know if he posted and told everybody he was about to buy some jewelry in Florida, but that nigga was in Florida. And people came to the shop to where he was buying shit and was like, man, okay. He, he spent a lot of money. So it turned out, X, X had like a hundred, a hundred racks or something. I mean, he had 50 or 100 racks he was trying to get from the bank. And people knew it. So uh, X was in his car, you feel me, you dig? With his uncle. Man, his uncle didn't do shit. The, the, they were like three gummies. They, came, they ran down on X. They said, give me your shit. X was like, nah, give me your shit. And they took his shit and shot the nigga. You know what I'm saying? They ran him down with the, with, the, with the tools. He shot. They they killed X. You know what I'm saying? They shot that nigga down. The uncle ran. You think you don't think the uncle was trying to like do anything just to fight back or anything? Cause you know that's his uncle. But the nigga didn't have no guns. They didn't have no tools. With you in you in Florida. Ah, I, I mean, shit, bro. You ain't man. You got all that money. You gotta have something. So X was like, man, fuck all that shit. He he wasn't he wasn't riding with no strap. He didn't have shit, nigga. That nigga didn't have no security guards. He was just riding. And, um, which is crazy because X worth so much fucking money. He had so much fucking money on me. On you, why would you not even have a strap? Nigga, <laughs> at least the uncle. At least somebody ride with somebody who got the strap. Like, come on, man. Who can hold it? You know what I'm saying? So, they ran down on him. The, 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 the dudes who came back from the motherfucking shop to see what he was doing, they ran down on him. They, had, they already had him on camera. And shit, who was who did it? They say it was his best friend. It was some other niggas and shit. So you know what I'm saying? So all the niggas um who um who um who was on the court, you know what I'm saying? Who who been charged with murder? The motherfuckers who were charged with murder, you know what I'm saying? They was up in court, and this court this case been going on for a minute. It's five years after his death, type shit. You know what I'm saying? So everybody was wondering what was going on. So um. The, the people who murdered that nigga, uh, they were in the court, you know what I'm saying, just sitting. They got their tux on and shit, trying to look spiffied up and shit, nigga. Y'all going to jail, nigga. What fuck is he talking about? That shit wild type shit. You know what I'm saying? They, man, they spiffied up. You know what I'm saying? Got the murder charge on them and shit. You know, I don't think it would have been that bad if it wasn't. I don't think it would have. I don't think they would have found the people who murdered X if he wasn't super famous. You know what I'm saying? If X wasn't super famous, you know what I'm saying, and everybody knew him. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have, they wouldn't have, um, I don't think they would have found them. I think they would have left, left that like an open case. No cap, nigga. I'm telling you, bro. The only reason they found that nigga, they found, they found the three niggas because he's ex is super loved and famous, nigga. And, uh, so they found out who did it and shit. So they, they found, they caught everybody. They caught everybody. Man, I'm telling y'all niggas, y'all, if y'all do, if y'all planning murders, robberies, home invasions, nigga, you gotta make sure the niggas that you home invaders don't have no cameras. Um, you don't have your phones with you or anything because it's so easy. It's so easy to find people who um. It's so easy to find out who people who, um who killing niggas. You know what I'm saying these days. So um, so they got the niggas on court. Everybody was saying that they were gonna walk because they didn't have enough evidence. They didn't have no DNA. They didn't have no handprints. But they had the camera video of the of the people who came in the store to look at who did it. So um, so you know what I'm saying. So X, you feel me? X on some type of shit where he didn't give no fucks. He, X was six nine before um six nine man. I'm telling you, X was was six nine before six nine. So um and but six nine still alive. Hope hey, we got a lot. We got some shit to talk about. <laughs> hey, it's going. They, they, these motherfuckers going out sad. So yeah, man. So X, you know what I'm saying? He, he um hey, they finally they finally got the people who killed who killed him on trial. So they see this nigga, so these niggas on trial think they finna fight and finna do some extra shit. No third. They already got y'all locked down, nigga. They probably had everybody who did everything already. Um, 
So eventually, and they, 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 they convicted the niggas with murder, man. All four of them, nigga. All four of these niggas got convicted with murder, man. Um, rest in peace, X, man. Um, we listened to his grandma talk about him, man. Um, his grandma seemed like she's a sweet lady. Uh, she said that she really missed that nigga, man. Uh, he was a playful person, you know what I'm saying? I don't think, like, a lot of his shit, like, when he was cussing out Drake, he really meant the shit. But it's like, nigga, if somebody steal your shit, nigga, and you almost about to die, nigga, and they don't even try to help you out, they just stealing your shit, and the only way you can get back up is talking shit, nigga. Boom, nigga. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, it's like, that shit was wild, man. You feel me? Um... You feel me? Like, back in the day, I looked at his videos and shit. I was like, I felt this pain, man. It's like, damn, man, these niggas be having all the money. These niggas be having all the money in the world, all the clout in the world. They come to niggas like us, taking our shit. Like, come on, man. We don't got, we ain't got no type of, like, you know what I'm saying? X was in a badass position. That nigga just took his shit. Nigga, if X would never said nothing, nigga would have just been like another person who they would just took his shit. You know what I'm saying? That's wild shit, man. That's, that's unforgivable type shit. No cap, nigga. So it's like, that sad type shit, and um, his grandma like he really a playful soul. He came in with his with his um, sisters and shit. He liked to joke around. Um, he cared about people, man. He was a positive person, man. You know, everybody he was he was saying everybody make mistakes when they younger. You know what I'm saying? Cause X was only like 21, 22. Young as hell, he like a little kid. Like, come on, man. So it's like, um, but yeah, man. You know, when yo we 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 talk like like Tasha K said, off of who got sued, who's got sued by Cardi B. Talking and shit, your mouth can't, you talking and shit, your mouth can't cash. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, say, man, uh, six, I mean, X, I mean, I hope you get better. I mean, you already did. I hope you resting up in peace, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Your family, they, you know, you said, thank God you set your family off with a good, hey, they set for life, so, you know, you good, then. Your, your, your parents good, all. But it's just sad because it's like, man, it all start off niggas stealing people's songs, man. And they couldn't, they couldn't bear the fact that, like, this nigga trying to expose niggas. And they had to take them out, man. But, hey, man, see, man. RP, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the videos. Come to you as a Jew, a black Hebrew Israelite, man. Make sure y'all, uh, message your boy. Yeah, we all just been glad we got some, hey, glad we know what the fuck happened, man. But fuck with your boy, Hood, and I'm sorry. Big Crip, deuces, gang. Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, that this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Kodak everywhere.